Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of the AF Herald Limited Edition Kids Poetry Podcast, the Affleck Poe Pod. This episode is sponsored by a clown car. Have you ever looked at a car and thought, I wonder if there are any clowns in there? Well, with a clown car, you can be sure that there are. A clown car, like a car, but full of clowns. And also more of them than you expect, and it will probably fall apart as it drives away. A clown car, thank you. And now, today's poem. Poetry and the Dragon If you open up my skull... You won't see a brain in there. Underneath the skin and bone and bushy spreading hair is something rather different, something quite unique, something I must feed with fancy several times a week. There's a dragon in my brain box, puffing fire in my head. It's always hungry, always thirsty, always must be fed on images imagined, on truthful things and lies. This dragon needs some stoking to puff its fire in my eyes. I feed it on the glitter of dew on a spider's web. No sooner is it noticed than it's gulped into my head. I see the leaves of autumn turn yellow and red and fall. The dragon takes everything I see, the dragon eats it all. He swallows the shouting of people, angry in the street. The roar of a jet down the valley is gobbled up like meat. The smell of new bread baking, the green of the garden in spring, the touch of a ghost at the back of my neck, the dragon eats everything. He's kept alive by the world, by the sounds and the sights and the dreams. He's got no ideas of his own, you see, but he's bulging at the seams. He's fat with the pictures he's swallowed, huge on the noises he's heard, from cheers in the playground football match to the squawk of Granny's bird. That day when Mum was mad with me, and the day that I fell in love, and other days that pass so slow, the hurt of the bully's shove, the dream that I set foot on Mars, the clatter of Beowulf's fight, all roll around in the dragon's moor, sparking and letting out light. And once in a while, he puffs up a flame, bursting with all he's eaten. And the images rush, they flutter and roar like runners who won't be beaten. In the race of memory, the race of words, of poetry flaming anew. And I write it all down, one way or another, because that's what poets do. Thanks very much for listening to this poem episode of the Affleck Poe Pod, the AF Harold Limited Edition Kids Poetry Podcast. Uh, if you enjoyed it, that's lovely. Great, thank you. Thank you for having really good taste. Uh, why not go along to my website, afharoldkids.com, and find out more find more poems there find out about my books watch videos of me reading poems if on the other hand you didn't like it why not invent a shrinking ray shoot it at yourself until you're only about an inch tall and then ride on a dragonfly all around the garden or the local countryside uh, and see if that's more fun hmm?